When I initially first started thinking about how patterns would work with the new global styles inside of Generate Blocks, I was really thinking about being able to do things like bring entire components across into different parts of my website without having to rebuild them from scratch and add all the individual classes. As you can see in this card design, my image up here has a class, this little tag has a class, my headline has a class, and even this excerpt has a class. If I wanted to go reuse this somewhere else on my site, like let's say an archive page, I wouldn't wanna to have to add the container and the image and then add all the classes to each one of these blocks. I'd wanna be able to bring it in in a pattern just like this. I imagine that's how most people are thinking about patterns, but just earlier today, I was having a conversation with Tom, the founder of Generate Blocks, and he said something kind of profound to me. He said, patterns basically give you the ability to create your own blocks. Now, I didn't know exactly what he meant by this at first, but once it all clicked for me, it was a pretty amazing discovery. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. We're gonna start off with a blank page here, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Let's say we're starting a brand new project and we want to style up our primary button for this project. We know we're gonna be reusing this button hundreds of times across this entire website, so we're gonna to wanna to do all of that with the class so we can control all of it globally. So to set this up initially, I need to add a button block to our page and we need to give it a class. In this case, I'm gonna call it button double dash primary. We'll go ahead and hit create. And since the button block comes with some default styling, I'm gonna go ahead and move all that from the local block styles to my class and hit start editing. Now I can go in here and make these changes. For the demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna greatly change the style of this button so we can tell it's not the default style anymore. I'll do this by changing the padding, maybe making it a pill shape, and going in here and even changing the background to a red color. So now we know our button primary has this red style pill shaped button, right? But when we wanna add this across our entire website, let me show you how many steps that takes. First, I need to add a new block and click the button block. So that's one action I need to take. Next, I need to go ahead and add that class, which was button double dash primary. That's a second action I need to take. But of course, some of these block level styles are overriding some of my class styles. So I need to go ahead and clear out the local styles here and press confirm. So that's about four or five different actions I need to take to get this button exactly how I need it. But thanks to patterns, we can actually pretty much create presets for all of our different default styles. Instead of going in here and adding a button and going through all those four different steps, what we would do instead is create this one time and create a pattern out of it. So I'm just gonna call this button double dash primary just to be consistent with our class name there. And I'm gonna turn these synced patterns off. We'll go ahead and hit create. But instead of having to add another button to the page, add the class and remove the local styles, with this saved as a local pattern, all I have to do is add block, start searching for button, and down here I have my button primary pattern. Now I go ahead and insert that into the page and all of those steps are already taken care of. It's already added the button primary class and it's already removed the local styles because that's the condition we save the pattern in. So not only does this make sense for components where we have multiple different kinds of blocks configured together, it actually makes sense for creating all kinds of different presets for even single blocks. Think about how you might use this for your button stylings. You could have several different patterns set up for your primary and secondary buttons, but you could also have this set up for different headline styles, container styles, grid layouts. The possibilities are almost endless in the different things you could do by using these patterns. And so long as we're using the class to style everything, we can always go back in here and edit this. Let's say we wanted to go back to our blue color. And since it's using that class, it's gonna update every instance we use this pattern across the entire website, which is the global control we were ultimately after. Now, once I've started thinking about patterns as a way to create my own blocks or presets for blocks, my mind has really exploded with all the kinds of different possibilities. Not only is this gonna make it quicker and easier to build out websites, it's gonna make sure we maintain really consistent websites that scale really well. I, for one, am really glad that Generate Blocks decided to use the core implementation of patterns because this gives us the ability to create synced and unsynced patterns and to be able to add these directly from the editor at any time. As you can see, with just a few clicks, we can create patterns and also insert patterns into our page without ever leaving the editor. Hopefully this little revelation is as mind-blowing to you as it was to me, because I know this is really gonna transform the way I build sites going here forward. If you learned something new in this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to catch the next one, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you then.